At Reading University's Atmospheric Observatory, they have been measuring the temperature every day at 10 a.m. since 1908. There are few places better equipped to track what's happening as climate change drives increasingly frequent and severe heat events. And then there's also another one over there. Researcher Chloe Brimicum tells me that rising baseline temperatures are magnifying the intensity of heat waves, with trapped high-pressure air and drier, hotter ground driving a feedback loop that acts like an oven. By 2050, we can expect to see temperatures above 35 degrees Celsius every year in the UK during the summer. Um, and that also means that on current projections, sadly, 5,000 to 7,000 people could lose their lives by end of century every year. Because of the heat? Just because of the heat. In this country? In this country. And the serious health risks aren't the only problem, as transport hubs like Reading train station know only too well. Extraordinary heat is an extremely disruptive force in places that aren't set up to cope with it. And in particular, it impacts buildings and infrastructure. So in these kind of temperatures, for example, roads can melt and train lines can buckle. In fact, Network Rail says exactly this has happened near Vauxhall train station in London. For now, though, passengers all over the country are just trying to keep going. It's actually true what they said. You do always think it's under underplayed but uh, yeah I'll be all right but you're struggling a bit right now I am struggling did the bus that was hot yeah it was was it no yeah. air conditioning on the bus no I was thinking to myself actually they're gonna have to start designing them with aren't they because we're gonna get hotter and hotter to those who study heat and its effects what's happening in the UK is unprecedented but not a surprise Britain has got to stop thinking of itself as a cold country and realize that during the summer we are a hot country and we have to take adequate precautions. The government simply has not taken the warning serious enough and prepared. Adapting to the changes that are already here requires massive investment alongside all the money already committed to reducing carbon emissions. But both must happen to limit the suffering inflicted by heat. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News.